Okay, now we're to the resin. I'm using Easy Coat. And I won these Mica Parters in a contest. And I got 30 of them. I have to look back and in my description I'll let you know who uh, I won these powders off of. It was such an awesome deal. She got and she was able to share and I won. I've put gold in my resin. I'm mixing it up. I've got my torch handy. I don't know why I put another cup. Because I used shot glasses to mix this up. But the torch is to just relieve some of the air bubbles. Now I've been stirring this for over five minutes. Because I've had to stop and go, stop and go. Turn the TV off. I'm in my laundry room. That's why the sound may be different because I don't have my speaker attached to it. But you should be able to hear me. Okay, here we go. I put the gold mica powder in because this bright yellow I did not really like. Got to divide this up four ways. And the only way to do that is to kind of get the same puddle going. And then come back. Now this one's wanting to move. This one's moving too. A little more here. A little more here. I'm going to be working on the sides too. I don't have any gloves on because I'm not going to touch it once it, uh, I get this on here and it is muting that that bright yellow yellow isn't really my favorite color not bright yellow gold I love I'm just using a tongue depressor to st uh, move this around. I thought about putting tape around the edges so that I could have a lip, but uh, that isn't going to happen. Not when I want to resin the sides. I should have five to eight minutes leeway so that I don't lose my uh, resin. Okay, now this one's already started wanting to move. I gotta hurry. Move it all back this way. My table is off balance. That's why I'm hurrying. Big bubbles I can see. These are my tiles, my square samples 
of flooring. I did clean off the silicone, so that shouldn't be an issue. Okay, you didn't see me scoop that resin back into the cup. That was a figment of your imagination. <laughs> Pretty good size drip on that side. So I had to, whoops, I only didn't get that drip. I can't see on this back side. So there may be a second coat. I'm hoping that I'm getting it all in one coat. Now it's starting to move over to the side. I've got to move this quick. This is a small work area. I've got everything that could possibly be in my way is in my way. I'm going to have to come back later for any more drips. But if I can salvage them for the sides, uh, I will do that. See? That's an area I did not get. I've got a Dremel tool, so if push comes to shove, I can always sand off a drip. I might have put a little too much gold, but I can still see the pattern through. You might not be able to because of the light shining on it.
I just want to make sure my sides are covered. I think I lost most of the color, or at least it looks like it from this end. Oh, when the bubbles settle out of it, it's fine. Okay. You know my torch. I can see them all coming out. This is a mini torch. Slight lump there. I'm, I'm looking through the shine to see if there's any areas missed. And I keep missing the same area. And I'm trying to fix.
Okay, thank you for joining me. I'll show you when they're uh, when they're done. Be right back. Hello, everybody. Okay, this is the final part of my video. This is how my resin objects turned out. I used a little bit too much gold mica, and on one of them, uh, I need to sand it down and do another coat, and I'm going to do another coat on both of them. But all in all, they came out pretty awesome. These are the uh, scrap or the free samples from Home Depot. See, there's a little lumps, and and I know it wasn't air because in, you seen I used the uh, torch. Okay, I had left over, so I did a magnet. Now I put a little cup over the top of it like this and accidentally run across the side so I got to repair that but look how that gold and the orange and browns all turned out pretty good now this piece of uh, keychain uh, there's no flaws in the resin at all and you can barely see the color underneath because I was getting to the bottom of the uh, cup of resin and more mica was in there it's it's shiny it's gold you can see a little brown popping through and a little bit of red but this was bright red so you got to be really careful see uh, some of these edges didn't get it real good so I'll just do it again and thank you so much for sticking with me to see the final project and everybody like share subscribe and we'll see you next time this is my awesome resin uh, deal okay bye bye